it's hard to describe to them um, why the, the events like in, in Las Vegas and, and other things like that, why that, why that happens. And, and, and as we uh, watch the news and, and listen to the uh, pundits over the next few days, um, I, you know, I think it's something to, to keep in mind that it, it started at the very beginning, and that was the, the Garden of Eden. And, and when we're away or away from our Savior, um, there's evil. There's evil in the world, and I don't think there's any way to describe it. And I had an opportunity to judge a goat show at the state fair the other day, and uh, I made a had a little a little speech and. And I talked about the, uh, in the book of Matthew, it, it uh, talks about uh, Pharisees. They, they asked uh, Jesus a question. They were going to try to stump him. And they asked, which of the laws is, is the most important? And um, he said that the two things that are the most important is to love your Lord and, and Savior, Lord and God with all your heart, soul, and mind. And, and to love your neighbor as yourself. And the first is a personal decision that I think each one of us has to make. But the second is uh, just being a good human, just being a good person. And um, isn't it, isn't it kind of crazy that it, it takes events like uh, the wildfires that that, uh, that burn up half of the, the panhandle or, or the uh, hurricane that, that y'all dealt with uh, just over a month ago uh, to see that in people. Uh, my brother-in-law hooked his uh, flat bottom, he lives in Kerrville, hooked his flat bottom boat up and and drove down to Beaumont for three and a half days and left his wife and, and uh, three daughters to help. And I was kind of wondering what uh, what his thoughts would be. And he said, man, I'll tell you what, I have faith in mankind again. Uh, it wasn't race nor color nor creed. People were just helping people. Could you imagine what the world would be like, what our country would be like if we, if we did that? And it doesn't have to be on that scale. It can be in your community, in your school, in your church. Um, but man, love love on each other. Uh, there, we have so much in common to let the little things get in between us. Um, so I, I'm, again, I'm, I'm pleased to be here. I'm, I'm very excited about our lineup. I'd like to commend these exhibitors and the families that have come through the ring today. There's no better place to raise a kid than in a stock show. Um, most of the time you're teaching them not uh, how to win and high five, it's how to, how to take defeat. Um, the hardest thing to do is know that you could put everything, every ounce of your being into showing and exhibiting and feeding and fitting and not win. And that's the hardest thing to, for people to make that step knowing I could give everything I got and still not win. That's part of it and that's part of life. And so there's a great lessons to be learned is, is um, it's just not about ribbons and banners. Uh, those things fade and collect dust, but it's the, it's the time you spend with your family. It's the, the memories that you make along the way. Great set of sheep, lightweights, one that, uh, again, I talked about him being real correct and, and fundamental in terms of his build. Uh, still like him when we bring him out here. Obviously not as massive as some, a sheep that's probably a, uh, uh, substantially better further along in, in a feeding period, but a sheep today I think handled that class awfully well. well. 